In today's video, you're going to get to see a whole bunch of beautiful cars at the 2024 Toronto International Auto Show. Hello everybody and welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. I am thrilled you're joining me today. I am excited to be here. I am here on Media Day, so you get to see a sneak peek at all the beautiful cars at the show today, including the Tesla Cybertruck amongst the Jeep and many, many other cars on Media Day. The masses of crowds are not here, so we get a little chance to get up close and personal to a lot of these beautiful cars. So without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive, and let's check out some beautiful cars at the 2024 Toronto International Auto Show. Okay, I'm going to record you while you talk. Right. So tell me about so, this beauty. You're in the Trailhawk Cher Grand Cherokee Hybrid. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> all right. Break over. So we're running an all-electric mode. You have a hybrid mode, uh, an all-electric mode, and basically a uh, gas mode. It has a two-liter gasoline engine, a turbo four-cylinder. It'll do 42 kilometers on the battery and 761 combined. Wow. I'm gonna take this nice and slowly. This is for our ground clearance, so we to make sure we don't bottom out and hit anything. Have you ever turned this thing over? No, I haven't. Oh, that's good, oh, that's a good start. <laughs> so this kind of simulates potholes here and it's kind of rough. Oh, gosh, Have you ever yeah. been to the United States? <laughs> or or even what, Canada. This is what driving in Ohio is. Oh like. my. So here, this will put us in a 30 degree bank to the right. So I'm gonna get my speed up a little bit. Here we go. And up, and both wheels up, 30 degrees. That's extraordinary. Nice Is that the slowly. max angle that this can do? Uh, it'll do 45. Okay. We don't take them on that kind of an obstacle, but okay. they've been tested. Okay, now, Nikhil, lean forward so we don't tip the car backwards, all right? So this will be a 30 degree incline, 13 feet high, and 30 degrees down the back Okay. Side. Nice and smooth, nice and quiet. You'll just hear the tires on the metal grates. Here we go. Wow. Nice and smooth over the top. And I'm going to stop right here. That's Because we're at 30 degree pitch angle down. Sit and look, right at the, uh, look at the gauges there too. So that tells you all the details. You've got pitch and roll. I can put it on here, but it's nice because if I want to use the cameras, of course. I can still get my pitch and roll. And I love the fact that the camera actually shows you what's going on right it, beneath it does. you. Fabulous. And this was all in electric mode. All electric. 100% electric mode going. And how much battery do you have left for the electric? I have 65%. Okay. It'll run several hours doing this. Very good. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. All right. Appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah. Richard. Richard. Yeah, I'll give you that. Check this out when you get a chance. Oh, we'll take it. Yeah, take it. All right, all yours. Thank you. All right. No, it's all yours. Introducing James Hincliffe, 
James, talk to me about your cars and your passion. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, racing's the passion, no doubt about that. Been doing it for a long time now, and uh, this year, fortunate enough to be racing in the IMSA WeatherTech Championship with FAF Motorsports, whose beautiful uh, McLaren 720S Evo GT3 car you see right there, the number nine. That's the car that we ran at the Rolex 24 at Daytona. A little bit of a beast, James. A little bit of a beast. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a great car. You know, the way it, that car is constructed in the GT3 class. It's the only one that's actually a, a carbon fiber tub as a, as a chassis base. It's not a tube frame car. It's really built like a mini prototype car in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of bells and whistles on it, things like ABS and traction control that in my, you know, my former life as an IndyCar driver, we didn't have those bells and whistles. Right on. So it's been, uh, it's been fun kind of getting to learn what makes her tick and how to find the lap time in it. Very good. You sound all excited again, which is good to see. So yeah, thank you, James. Thanks so much. So, it, it's, it's really fun to watch. Excellent. <laughs> thank you, Tell brother. me what you have here in this beautiful Hyundai. So today we have here the Ionic 5N. Uh, this is our latest execution of the well-known Ionic 5, but in a sporty version. So uh, this is the way we deliver the N. Uh, as you know, it's uh, three pillars that build the M brand, uh, Cornet Rascal, Everyday Sport Car, and uh, just ready to the track car. So we work pretty hard on making this EV feel like a, a very sporty ICE. So oh it's the gosh. most powerful uh, Hyundai vehicle that we have. Uh, it goes, it can go all the way to 641 horsepower. Really? Uh, zero to 100 in six, uh, three seconds. So it's, uh, it's a very, very exciting car. It has a lot of new technologies in it. Uh, the idea again is to give the drivers the all the accelerating and, and the and the fun to drive uh, feeling that a, a, a regular or a conventional ICE will deliver. You know what I love? An electric package. Is the colors that you come out with plus the styling, the this, lights, everything is absolutely. This vehicle beautiful. also yes, oh, is uh, the one you have here is performance blue. This is a unique and uh, exclusive cool. color for every end that we produce. Uh, and you have a lot of uh, elements that are very, very exclusive to this. And the idea was to, again, improve the aerodynamics of the car, also the looks. So like, Show me that other one over there. There's absolutely beautiful designs that you have now. So this is the Ionic, Ionic 6. So wow, both Ionic 5 and Ionic 6 are built on top of the EGMP platform, which is our exclusive uh, electric vehicle platform. Right. So in this case, this is the car that we have with the with the... Uh, best uh, AER or, or all electric range uh, in the gamma. So, what is the range on this one? On this one, it's, up, it's, it's more than 500 kilometers. Really? Yes. So, that, that is the magic number. If you can achieve 500 kilometers, it seems there's a lot more comfort people have with that. This is interesting because the platform, the battery, and the motors are similar between the Ionic 6 and the Ionic 5 that you oh, have there. Okay. It's all about the aerodynamics. So this is the most aerodynamic vehicle that we have on the Honda lineup. Right. And this is one of the reasons why you gain so much on the range. Oh, uh, we go people. all the way to the details. Like the, these pixels uh, are very unique to every Ionic that we have. You will find them also on the Ionic 5. And, and, and on this one specifically, we have a lot of um, uh, Easter eggs. So if okay. you come with me, for yes. example. So in the interior you have this uh, six dot, okay. So which is actually code morphs for uh, Hyundai. Really? Yeah. Okay. But it's, Very it's, clever. It's coming yes. back to the pixels, okay. right? Then you have six LED uh, <laughs> diodes here because this is an it. Ionic six, right. right? You have four different groups of lights here with six dots each. Again, oh my Ionic gosh. 6. Very clever. And over here, <laughs> behind this um, element, yeah. we have the one of the radars for the forward collision mitigation sensor, system. Yeah. Uh, but we Again, have six, of six those. dots. Oh, I, I love it. Language, you way. know what? I have to say, Ricardo, it's lovely to see so much focus on electric vehicles, especially by Hyundai over the years. Like they're trying to lead the pack now almost. They're going to be, I think, in my view, the car company people are going to want to follow almost because you're coming up with so many unique designs, layouts, options, and more and more different models that people can select, which is wonderful to see. Yeah. So I think it's wonderful. Thank you. We are committed to that. So we have a, 
a, a mandate uh, from the government, but also we want to offer the option to the customers and, right. and, um, and have uh, exciting vehicles around it because electric cars don't need to be boring. Yeah. So, so that's why a car like Ionic 5N is, is there. Uh, but, but we, again, we, we, are, we are trying our best and uh, we are delivering on this. And I mean, you can see, so we have the Ionic 5, Ionic 6, the Con IV, which is also brand right. new. Uh, so it's, it's part of the electrification efforts that we are doing in Canada. So. Amazing. Thank you so much. Be with us here this morning. We are very proud to be here at the Canadian International Auto Show today. We have two exciting concepts that have never been on stage together. Now last year, we announced a strong brand refresh and paved the way to a product renaissance, which will see the light in the 80 flagship. a pure ultra sleek profile that even when static delivers a sense of speed and dynamism. Minimalism paired with muscular proportions to hint at the engaging electric performance the production car will offer. Everything is anchored around one single pure gesture like that flows from the infinity emblem at the front and accelerates towards the rear. Good morning everyone, my name is Reg from Kia Canada and we're standing here in the Kia booth at the Canadian International Auto Show at the Metro Convention Centre. Right beside me on my right is our EV6 full electric vehicle, beautiful car, lots of power, lots of range, over 400 kilometers of range okay. with our ADAS system which is all our safety system for consumers. If we move along down here we have one of our best sellers here, the Sportage. It's our second best seller in, in Canada. Great SUV, mid-size for the family, uh, 2.5 liter, great fuel economy, eight speed automatic. If we Rich here again, behind me, our brand new full electric SUV three row. Beautiful vehicle. Basically the same size as our Telluride with all the uh, technology and not three row for kids, three row for adults. <laughs> Come and see it at the International Auto Show. You will love it. Wow, Reg. What is the electric range on a beast like this? It's fully loaded, which uh, so what I can tell you here, this is the land, the fully loaded model. Right. And it's still 451 kilometers. Oh, that's impressive. That's, so, I was thinking like the 300 million dollar mark, question. Wow. I yes. didn't see the Stinger here today. Yeah. Why not? Stinger was a fantastic vehicle and people loved it. But as you know, Kia has a Plan S, which we're focusing more on EV vehicle. So to replace the Stinger, we have the EV6 GT with close to 600 horse. Fantastic wow. vehicle. Coming soon by That's Kia. Excellent. Tell me about Thank Subaru. What do you guys have hey, on? Hi, how are you? Good to have you here. So what we have here this year, we have our electric zone where you can see some Solteras. So uh, these are 24 model year they'll be up for sale very shortly if very we nice. continue and go just here on our ride you can see that we have some brz so uh, uh favorite spot sports car from sports enthusiasts so we also have the wrx right there right uh in the middle of the booth on your left what we have is our lineup of SUVs, so uh, we have the Forester, the current generation of Forester, some Outbacks, uh, Outback Onyx, Outback Premier with the turbo 2.4 liter engine. I love the look of this Outback. Looks great, isn't very it? Very sharp, very it's, sharp. Absolutely. It looks very, very good. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I have to agree with you on this one. <laughs> I don't disagree. Trophy case and well. on the platform on your right is the brand new 2025 Subaru Forester. Wow. which has been unveiled before the holidays in uh, LA. Uh, it's here for you to see it. So uh, don't be shy, come see us and Very take a look nice. at it. It will be up for sale this spring. Okay. It is absolutely beautiful. Yes, this is a top trim. Okay. And we also have a new version of I, the... I'm Do quite partial yes. to the Crosstrek because I actually oh, own one. Well, so of our course, best seller uh, and there's oh, a reason the for guys. that. Yep. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely. This is the Onyx version with the yellow inserts inside so with that color it 
pops. It's really amazing. It looks Very good. Nice. Another like cross track. Yep. This is a limited trim. The new WRX RS, which is now on sale. It's arriving as we speak at dealerships. So okay, you can. Sebastian, I have a question. Though. Yes. Are we ever going to see the WRX STI Di. with the big wing? Is that ever going to happen? Uh, it might. We haven't dropped the idea. Uh, okay. There's a lot of changes in the industry right now, as you know. Can you, can you please talk to somebody that <laughs> oh, no, does this? I'll do that for you. And mention we'll that pleasure. I'm very interested in the STI. Absolutely, I'll do that for you. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Gorgeous These little car. Red. And yes. right behind you, just <laughs> down there, is the Wilderness Zone. So we have our Wilderness family. Very Crosstrack, nice. Outback with the rooftop tent. And... Uh, the Forester on the ramp, so three wow. wilderness and the same geyser blue color. So that's actually designed to fit directly on top Absolutely. of the, uh, the car. Absolutely, it's designed wow. by Thule, so yeah. Very nice. It Very folds. outdoorsy is what Subaru's Absolutely. about. Absolutely, with the turf and everything. You got it. Background scenery, so wilderness. Amazing. Beautiful. Thank you, Sebastian. Pleasure. I appreciate it. Today, nice it's my privilege to introduce to you, for the very first time in Canada, the 2025 Genesis GV80 Coupe. What a beauty, look at that. So, same with the iconic two-line signature. Well, let's start with the, double, the Coupe's front fascia first. It presents a double G-matrix pattern press grille, and it's a design that continues throughout the vehicle. And same with the iconic two-line signature headlamps with multi-lens array technology. Its functional slots were incorporated to the front bumper's design in order to optimize Donna, cooling. tell me what we've got here. Good morning. Well, we've got some really great stuff here. Hot Wheels is so proud to be at the Toronto Auto Show. Let's start with this. This is where it all began. Hot Wheels launched in 1968, and this is the original Sweet 16 oh cars that God. we launched with. Yes. So for those of you of my generation, you may remember uh, quite a number of these. Um, so the car that we have over here is the Dioria 2. So if you see this green one, Yes. That's the original. Oh, that's the we original. We reimagined it for our 35th anniversary into in 2003 this. into this. It's a, a little more modern look. Wow. This is actually drivable and it has a Cadillac. No, it's not drivable. It has a Cadillac engine. Seriously? In it. Yeah. Wow. So you see the surfboards and the. Oh, it's so, so cool. Yeah, so it's a little more modern take. Now, we actually, um, you know, at Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels is not just a toy. So um, we actually have a whole collection we call the Garage of Legends. Right. which is everything in this um, in this display unit we have a life-size build for no way yes we keep really? them all in um, El Segundo California um, where our head office is but we have built all of these that's amazing including bad to the blade yep that's extraordinary. Yeah. Why really is this one and this is packaging? about NFTs. So um, a year or two ago, we launched Hot Wheels NFTs. And so you can build your virtual garage. They're tradable and collectible. Um, yeah. You know, again, Hot Wheels is not just for kids. We have such a great group of collectors. Um, and we're all big kids at the end of the day, are. right? We are. Boys who, who love cars become men yes. who love cars. Um, this over here is a 1967 Chevy Camaro, part of our original Sweet 16 car. Cars. Beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? Absolutely stunning. Yeah. So wow. this one, of course, is drivable and this is as well. Again, this is the little original yep. model right there. Oh uh, my, all don't, of our don't builds. I wish I kept all my old <laughs> Hot Wheel cars, hey? Oh, yeah. They, they oh can be my. quite valuable. In fact, we, we have quite a number of collector groups. Some of, one of our collectors has brought his collection, and some of these are incredibly valuable. So, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Welcome. Probably the entire Canada. And what, what year is this car? Uh, probably from 65 vehicle. That's extraordinary. Yeah. Everything inside uh, is uh, what it used to be. So it's like a limousine, basically, yeah? yeah? Uh, it's actually for the, um, just like Prime Minister, those kind of, uh, President of um, Republic of China. Right. To, yeah, right on this kind of vehicle. It's very beautiful. Yeah. It's very unique. It looks very presidential. Yeah, it's long enough. Yeah. And they don't make this anymore, like a manufacturer. No, no. But uh, this manufacturer is still making cars. But they do. The new ones. Really. Yeah.